Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan once again in this very very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations where we will be solving 1 degree 9 polynomial x cube plus 1 whole cube equal to 8 times 2x minus 1. So we have to find out 9 solutions whether real or complex. So let's get started by giving substitution. So I will consider 2x minus 1 equal to y cube. So let me write y cube equal to 2x minus 1. So I can write it is 8y cube now. So shall I write 2y whole cube? Now you can see from LHS and RHS both sides we are having degree 3. So raise both sides one third power. So from here we will have x cube plus 1 equal to 2y. Okay. So from here I can write x cube equal to 2y minus 1. So let me write here x cube equal to 2y minus 1. Okay. Now this is our equation number 1 from substitution we have got. And after that we have got this equation number 2 after putting that value. Let's take away 2 from 1. So it will change sign. This term will get cancelled out. What is left? y cube minus x cube. That will be equal to 2 times x minus y. Take all the terms to right hand side. So equation will become x cube minus y cube plus 2 times x minus y equal to 0. Now I will use algebraic identity. The difference of cubes. Let me write here a cube minus b cube. We will write a minus b a square plus b square plus a b. So let me write here a x minus y in one bracket. Second parenthesis will have x square plus y square plus x y plus 2 times x minus y equal to 0. Now we will take x minus y common out. So what is left in one bracket x minus y which is common and in second bracket we will write x square plus y square plus x y plus 2 equal to 0. Now it is product of two brackets or two functions f dot g equal to 0. So either f equal to 0 or g equal to 0. That means x square plus y square plus x y plus 2 equal to 0. So we will solve 1 by 1. So let us consider first equation. Let me call this is our first equation which we are going to solve. And this would be our second equation. Sorry, it should be from here. Then we will solve little later. So let's solve x minus y equal to 0 or x is equal to y. Okay. Now remember this equation we will use x cube equal to 2y minus 1. x cube equal to 2y minus 1 and x equal to y. Let me write directly. So let's put x equal to y. So x cube equal to 2x minus 1 or x cube minus 2x plus 1 equal to 0. Now from rational root theorem we can find out eligible factors plus minus 1 leading coefficient also plus minus 1. So from there we can directly conclude x is equal to 1 is our solution. Okay. How? 1 minus 2 plus 1 which is 0. So x is equal to 1 is our solution. Now let's find out the remaining two roots of this cubic equation using synthetic division method which is very quick and faster. I will write x cube coefficient so that is 1 x square term is not there so 0 
x term is there so minus 2 constant is 1 leading coefficient unchanged so i will write 1 as it is 1 times 1 1 1 1 times 1 1 negative 1 negative 1 times 1 negative 1 0 so remaining equation remaining quadratic equation is x square plus x minus 1 equal to 0 now we will solve this equation so let me apply quadratic formula quickly i will be having minus 1 plus minus square root b square so 1 minus 4ac so plus 4 divided by 2 so ultimately we are getting minus 1 plus minus square root 5 divided by 2 okay so we have calculated so far three solutions let me write all the three then we will take up second equation x is equal to 1 which is here and the remaining two solutions x equal to minus 1 plus minus root 5 over 2 okay now let's solve the second equation second equation was let me write here x square plus y square plus xy plus 2 equal to 0 if you remember our result was f dot g equal to 0 f was the first equation which we calculated that was x minus y and second equation was this one x square plus y square plus xy plus 2 equal to 0 now we will solve this if i will put see if x is not equal to y then we are talking about so x square plus y square plus xy let me multiply this equation with 4 so equation will become 4x square plus 4y square plus 4xy equal to let me take two right hand side so minus 8 now i will write see i will write this 4x square it is recalling me 2x plus something whole square so i am writing that something is y so 2x plus y whole square see it is 4x square 2 times ab so 4xy is done this these two terms are over what is left that is 3y square equal to negative a now only one observation this is always positive this is always positive right hand side how it could be negative so no solution from this equation no solution if i am talking then i am saying no real solution okay complex solutions are possible so what is the conclusion what is the overall result we have calculated three solutions with multiplicity three first solution is x is equal to one and the remaining two are irrational values see minus one plus minus root five divided by two so here we are having solution with multiplicity three i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video